Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Gold Rush. Now, we are, I'm hoping, going to be tipping in some dirt into our bucket elevator, well the conveyor bit, that will conveyor it into the bucket elevator, that will elevate it up and dump it down into the shaker, that will shake it through and it will come down through here. We've also got buckets down the bottom of there and down the bottom of that chute in the hope that they will gather up a little bit of magnetite and uh, I don't think we got buckets down the bottom down there. I think that's one thing that we've got to go and do. But I just need to switch this one on here. There we go. That's shaking like crazy. And it's all ready to go. So we are ready to roll. Let's move down here. Yeah, that one's whizzing around like nuts. And these are going. We've got the magnetite collector down there. So we grab a bucket and we put it in here. We'll use. And we grab a bucket. Ooh, let's go and get that one that's rolling down the hill, shall we? And we'll run this one over here and we'll use that one in there. So we've got buckets, we've got everything in place, I hope, so that we can then tip this out. Everything. Now, are we? if we can get a whole load, I mean, you can see how quickly our cash is going down. We're not going to have enough cash to last a day. But we've got 26 ounces of gold from our workforce at the moment, which is doing pretty well, I would say. Enter. Why, why is it saying pick up? What is it that I can pick up? I don't think I can pick this thing up. This thing's a little bit too heavy for that. Um, right. Oh, no, I'm going to take my handbrake off. I'm going to start the engine. Then I can take the handbrake off. Right. We rotate this one up like this. And now we can start to back up. Now, we've got to make sure that we get this in the right place. I don't know yet how many loads I can put into this thing without having all of our generators and pumps and stuff running. But I mean, I think it would probably be okay, right? If I stop there, is that as far back as i got to go? I'm not quite sure. I can't remember what the controls are now. So in order to tip, we want um, turn differential lock. Oh, bed up and down is R and F. Right. Ah, uh, we can tip that one up like that. If I just leave it like that, is that going to keep tipping out? Just filling it up. There we go. Right, so we've tipped everything out. I'm just going to lower that one back down again, and then we're going to leap out and take a look. Bring it down. There we go. Right. It is tipping stuff out there. We don't have very much running back this way at the moment. There's a couple of bits. There's a, there's a few small rocks moving back that way. We've got more running this way and down this chute. And those buckets are full already. Oh, they're, they're filling. They're also being knocked down. So let me grab this one over here. It's that one load, we've already started to fill these buckets up. So we will just take a look at these. I don't know if this is actually magnetite or if this is something else. So we could always take a look at running it through the, um, the table over there, the separator, and see if that will do anything. Um, we're not still running at the moment. So, oh, the wow, the mats are like 8 9%. So you get nearly 10% on that. I mean, we have brought this from the back of the claim. And I, as I understand it, there's more gold back there than there is up here. So it's 11%. Goodness me. That is fantastic. You don't get so much through the buckets at the bottom. I think that is actually how it's supposed to be. And those are filling up quite rapidly. So we're not going to have to put very many trailer loads in there to get those to fill up completely. Um, these buckets are full. So we're going to need to do something with those. That's the, that's the next thing now is we want to, like, test those buckets. So I reckon... Well, we're going to wait for this to empty out. That has only just emptied out. It was still running... Yes, there's still stuff going through it. So we're going to, we can let all of this run through first. And then once it has... Once every bit of it has gone through... See, these buckets are all full. Ah, that's the last one. So that was the last bit there. That's all gone through there. Come down. We've got little. We've see. We you do have these bits falling down here. I wonder if you could like put more buckets underneath there and catch them. I don't actually know. Um, that's all done now. You can hear it's changed its tone now. So there's less coming through. Sixteen percent. Most of those mats are. One of them's on eighteen percent. The buckets down there are four and three. We have got a massive amount of gold out of that one dump truck full. That is absolutely fantastic. Right, next thing that we're going to do, I think, is rather than going getting more dumper loads just at the moment, I want, I'm want i really curious about this um, this other bit. So let me switch that one off. And 
I'm going to switch that one off as well. We'll leave that pump running for a minute because I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this here and I'm going to run this one up. And then we'll, we'll also see if there's any gold and stuff in... Um, uh, what, what, what am I calling it? In any gold in those buckets that we've we've got onto the sides, or whether it's just magnetite, or whether it's not magnetite at all, it might just be dirt. They may now have changed it, and um, it is just ordinary dirt. So you don't actually get a load of extra cash available, sort of coming in from this. I mean, I'd like there to be a load of extra cash because then it would mean that I could, um, like, you do a couple of runs with magnetite and. After doing a couple runs with that, I've then got enough cash that I can go and buy a bulldozer. Because a lot of people want me to use a bulldozer. I'm constantly getting requests for that. And so that's the next thing on my to-do list. I mean, yes, we don't really have anything else left to do now anyway. Right, uh, let's pick that one back up, shall we? Now, somebody suggested that if I was to position these correctly, I wouldn't need to keep running around quite so much with the cables. I wouldn't have, like, spaghetti junction going on with all the cables. Um... I can certainly put those two side by side so I can do the electric cable. Let me run this way and grab a yellow one. And we can plug that one in. And then we can test these buckets. Now, if the buckets are going to fill up that quickly, I mean, yes, getting like 10 grand from the buckets in just one go is going to, it's going to be fantastic. We're going to make a fortune out of this. However, it's also going to be quite time consuming in uh, to like go back and like run them all through. Oh, no, I don't want to do that one, do I? I want to bring this back this way. And I'll run it onto this generator here, as this one's close by. And then we don't need to unplug anything at all. So we can turn that one on. And no, I won't start that one yet. I need to get some empty. Let me get some empty buckets and get a couple of those buckets that are over there up round as well. And then we can see what we might get from them. I'll just put that one down there. I've got one more to grab. And then we can get started on this. So if you jump up over there. First time I've actually missed that. Come up onto there and then jump up over there, grab the bucket and then come back through. So a little bit of parkour going on in here. Excellent. It's always fun to do a bit of parkour. So we got four buckets there that were on top of the sluice that went down that way. Then that one bucket there is the one that fell off the bottom. And then that one bucket there is the one from the bottom of that sluice there. That one, only one of those buckets filled up. The other two are still empty. So first task that we're going to do is we're going to start this one up here. And we're going to run... Actually, we're going to take this one over here, which is the um, the one that was off separate. And we'll run that one through first. See what we get from this one. And then if this one comes out all right, I'm interested to see how much is gold and how much is magnetite. So it looks like... Right, that's coming into the gold bucket. No magnetite has gone in there at all, which makes me think that it's not actually gold at all. There's no gold in that. I reckon that is most likely just dirt. We'll pop it into the magnetite table, um, the, the wave table. We're not going to get anything from it. So if that's the case with these as well, then we know that this is actually not a profitable thing to do anymore. It may have been in the past, but it isn't any longer. What? Oh, I'll tell you what. One thing that we will do, because that's done the same. So I'll take that one out. That's gone into the gold rather than into the other one. I'll do one more bucket here, and I'll put that in there like that and we'll do one more bucket and then what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to take these buckets and just drop that one down there a minute okay so that's not worked that hasn't that hasn't yielded us any magnetite at all these buckets are just plain dirt so if i take this i'm going to switch this one off um we've stopped that one there and i'll grab that and i'll put that one over onto this side here and we can switch that one on so we shaking and then we take this and we'll bring it round to this side and put that one on there as well right uh, I also need to turn that one on there we go that's full of water so we can now take these and we'll see if we get anything in here if we get a noticeable increase in the amount of gold coming through no noticeable increase at all so I'm guessing that these are just plain dirt there is nothing else in them it is completely used up so where if it used to be a thing that you could do with this this has now been nerfed. That has been removed from the game. And yeah, there's no noticeable increase in speed on that one either. So I will do just one more because we did run this through the magnetite thing. Um, there's nothing in there. You can see the gold. You can see gold sparkling, but it's not actually gold that we've got. So no to those three. And no to that one as well, I would say. So we know that that's not working. 
So the other test is what happens if I run this one over to the magnetite trailer? Is it going to allow me to pour it into the magnetite trailer? And if it does, what happens then? Am I going to go over to the factory and get a load of cash or is it not going to accept that? So let me bring this one up here. I've got the bucket. I can tip the bucket in. It's allowing me to do that and it's saying 10%. So I think really the next thing, actually the next thing that we're going to do is we're not going to worry about this. And let, well, actually there's one more test that we need to do, isn't there? We'll load these three buckets up into this trailer. And if that works, if we can load, I mean, yeah, we can load them up. We're going to run them over to the factory and we're going to see if they do anything. Um, I'm just going to leave those pumps running for now. And start this bad boy up. Yeah, so we're going to we'll get this, uh, we'll get the trailer. We'll get this one hitch hitched on and then we're going to run these over to the factory and we're going to tip it out. If we get, um, I mean, for 30%, it should be $3,000. If we get $3,000 from it, then we at least know that we can do that. Now, to me, that really is cheating. That, that's, that is definitely cheating because we know that it's not actually magnetite because we've run it through the magnetite separator. So if we are going and doing it then, we know for a fact that that is cheating. There's there's no two ways about that. You can't sort of sugarcoat that in any way. We are absolutely 100% cheating on this one, and we're taking advantage of a game glitch. I'm personally quite happy to go and do that if it means that we can get the um, bulldozer like we've planned. I don't know if all of you are going to be happy with me doing that, though. So I'm going to do it this once and just test it, but I, I suspect that once we take this over and we empty it out, we're not actually going to get any cash. I reckon that what we're going to result with is it's just not going to do anything. It's just it's going to run out, but it's not actually going to give us any money. There's going to be no monetary reward in there whatsoever. It's just not going to be a benefit. So let me just take that one off. I will switch it off there as well and turn you off and take the hose off there. Um, that's all. I can take that cable off, actually. We're not going to need that one. We'll come back to using that later on. Um, I will stop that one. It's quite noisy. And that one's already stopped. So we've got the pumps running. Now, where's these buckets? There's one more bucket. We're going to take this one. And then we can run this over to the factory. And we'll see. So if it does... Um, I won't do it for a couple of episodes. I might, like, fill up the trailer. But I'm not going to do it. I'd like you to hear your opinions on whether or not you think that I should actually do that. Or whether you think that is going a step too far. We're going to have to do a run into town today anyway. So that we can go and smelt this gold. And we've got enough to pay our loan payments for the next few days. Um, and I mean it does look like we're slowly getting further and further forwards with the gold. And obviously now that we've got the excavator working. We can fill up this dump truck and we do a couple more runs. And then we're going to be able to rinse a huge amount of gold out of all of those mats. So we'll do that a couple times. And we can have a good gold flush through. And that should allow us access to the bulldozer. And then by the time we get the bulldozer. I mean we're going to be reducing the number of episodes by that point I should think anyway. Um, and we'll be down to one episode every other day. Um, and that will give us then, we should be fairly soon getting the drill for the claim. I'm quite looking forward to getting the drill. I mean, it doesn't seem to be a huge amount of point to the drill at the moment because we got so little like pay dirt overall. You do ultimately, a lot of players from what I've seen end up just digging up all the pay dirt anyway. So the drill's not really going to help. I suppose it might help in the early days. You can pinpoint the best position on the claim and you can get the, the really good stuff first, but you're still going to end up digging all of it up. Right, here we go. Are we going to get anything at all? We're on about 4,800, so I use... I use... says 30%. Use. Uh, okay, it doesn't like this. Apparently we filled it up with the wrong stuff. It's not letting us use at all. It's saying 30%, but it's not letting us empty it. I'm, 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 press, I'm pressing the button here, and n nothing's happening. Nothing's happening at all. Um... I thought they would at least empty out and sort of allow you to allow you the option of emptying it out and it just wouldn't pay you. But apparently we just we're just not gonna get anything at all. So I'm now curious what's going to happen when we get some actual magnetite and put in this thing. Is that also going to stop us from using it? The fact that we've put we've contaminated the supply, and I don't know if there's any way to empty this out. Oh, that's that's actually a really a really good question. Can we actually empty this thing out? Uh, before we 
need to put actual magnetite in. I, I don't know which one to do. I'm gonna, first of all, I'm just going to try and empty it out right here and see if it will just tip it out onto the ground. Um, if it will stop moving. Stop moving. Stop. Stop. Okay, there's no option there to do it anyway. So let's leap back in. We're going to go back home for a moment. We'll take this trailer with us. And we'll just have to see what happens with the whole magnetite issue now. And we're going to load up that dump truck and do one more load. And then I think we will race into town and we will smelt the bar of gold. And we will sell our next lot of gold. Which is at the, it's going to be, by that point, a good 31 ounces, I would guess. At least 31 ounces. Which is actually pretty good. That is a very, very good result. So let me bring that one round. We're not going to be rinsing out the mats today. We're going to be waiting until we've filled everything up to be rinsing out any mats. And I'm also not going to worry about those buckets anymore now. Uh, no, nope, I want to do that and that. So let's go and get this one here. And we can run this one up over to where the excavator is. And have another go. So I want to go enter. There we go. And handbrake off. Right. I like this one. I really do. He's, he's nice. He, he seems to run fairly easily. It's not... Um, he doesn't seem to be underpowered in any way. He seems to flow quite easily, quite well. It's slow on the steering, but that's kind of to be expected. And it's also good because it does help you with um, keyboard steering as well. I'm doing this with keyboard steering. And I'm not having any issues with it at all. I'm not getting any performance problems, anything like that. Generally speaking, this is a really good dump truck. i got no problems with it. I know there was a few people have been complaining about it and saying that it's... Um, underpowered and so on and i know that there are issues when you're trying to get it to uh, go over like lumps of earth and stuff like that but i've not really had to i've not really encountered that problem yet so for me it's, it's not been an issue i'm gonna try and park it right there we'll see what that does so let's leap round and jump into the excavator and get this one loaded up right let's zoom out a little bit i think about there would be good Start up and excavator digging will go on. Um, now, how quickly can I load one one uh, rock truck full? I'm going to try and count the buckets, and I'm also going to do my absolute best to um, get everything into the actual dumper rather than dumping it on the floor beside it like I was doing yesterday. I did quite a lot on the floor yesterday. So that was one. i bring that one down here. So... I know that the next, well, I'm pretty sure that one of the, the, the next thing that they're going to be doing is the drill that goes on to the, you go around the claim and you test different parts of the claim for um, quantity of gold, for the amount of gold that is available. Uh, there was talk about building a, about introducing a bigger pump that people would be able to use. I don't know what the pump would be like and really what the purpose of the pump would be for, unless it just means that you can have you don't need to chain pumps together. You can just have a much longer um, single pipe run rather than having to join several of them together. So you get one pump and you you can do it like that. I can't see there would be any other benefit to having a mobile pump. There doesn't seem to be any other benefit other than the fact that you can go further with it. Unless there's more like pipe outlets on the pump, that would also be quite good, I guess. Um, I haven't seen anything else that they're planning to add yet. Um, there was talk of adding mods into the game later on and allowing the community to add mods. At the moment, though, the opinion on that seems to be fairly divided as to whether or not it's actually going to happen. Uh, some people are saying that, yes, it is, and they've said that it's going to, and others are saying, well, actually, no, it's not going to happen. They've said it's not going to happen. There was uh, some inquiries about whether or not some people would be interested in submitting mods to the creators and then them um, like implementing it into the game. So whether that means that they're not going to leave it, um, sort of make it open to the modding community, I'm not quite sure. I mean, it, if they don't, if they choose to not allow the modding community open access to this game, that is going to be very, very disappointing because the modding aspect of a community can be what makes the game great later on i mean like look at farming simulator the, the the big simulator title um and also euro truck as well to a certain extent um those games are only in particular farming simulator is only as successful as it is because of the modding community now the game itself is great the game itself is fairly rock solid 
but it's the modding community that add in all these different aspects of gameplay that the game company themselves just can't do and that aspect that the, the aspect that the community brings to the project and brings to the game and to the whole experience in general just makes the game it goes from great to absolutely fantastic it genuinely makes a huge impact on the overall game and just it's just makes it that much better it's just so much better when you've got all of these different mods being added into the game and so if they've chosen to not allow that for this one it is going to be very very disappointing i am going to be bitterly disappointed with that and i can only hope then that they either continue to quickly bring out um new dlcs and new add-ons and so on and updates or they choose to do a gold rush 2 fairly quickly and with gold rush 2 they do add in the whole modding aspect of it because modding i think for a game like this is the difference between good and great by it's easily the difference between good and great and at the moment this game is good i know it does have its fair share of problems and i'm not denying that but this game has got it's a pretty solid core on it now and i'm quite happy with what i've seen from the core of this game and so expanding out on that i think it could be absolutely fantastic but a lot of that is going to be down to the player base and if the player base are denied access to the game and denied access to denied doing the one thing that has made so many games go from amazing to just absolutely incredible that's going to hold this back it's not it doesn't um like you take the base games and you know they're good and quite a lot of them and people will buy the base game but if you want people to stay and you want people to buy, spend more you'll get more people buying dlcs if the game is open to the modding community it's just as simple as that um stopping the modding community giving free mods to the game and keeping it alive does not negatively impact sales of dlcs later on it actually has the completely the opposite effect it will actually encourage people to stay playing the game so when the dlc comes out you've got far more people playing it who will look at the dlc and go you know what i want a slice of that pie and then they fork out uh, 10 quid 15 quid whatever it is for um the next dlc and so i really really hope that for the sake of this game that they do open it to the modding community because the future of this game absolutely 100 percent depends on whether or not they open it up to mods um i i really do believe that i really believe that this game will be seriously damaged if they don't do it i think that the um six months time this game will be it won't have an active player base if they have chosen not to open it all up to the whole community anyway that was my little speech on that bit let's uh, switch this one back on and switch this one back on as well and that should start running through we've already got the water in there so we're not going to worry about buckets in the chutes because it does appear that that is no longer something that is um active in the game so there's the first bucket full just gone through it should be coming down through to here and yes i've already seen one of those numbers go from 16 to 17 that is already starting to climb up so while that is running that one through we're going to actually it's 20 past four so we're going to jump into you and we're going to switch you off like that i'm going to leave the elevator running and we're going to take a trip into town we've got 31 ounces of gold it'll probably be 35 ounces of gold by the time we get into town and we are going to smelt our gold and we're going to go into the bank and we're going to sell it because if we don't we will lose all of our employees at midnight and i really don't want that to happen tonight because we're doing well with employees and i'd like to keep the ones that we've got so i'm thinking that i'm actually going to try um I don't know if I'm going to do it first or if I'm going to go for the bulldozer first, but I'd like to try very soon this um, little thing that someone suggested where I get a whole load of um, sluices, uh, not sluices, a whole load of um, hog pans and take them to one of the claims. I could either bring them here to Old Arnold or I could run them over to Rivertown and stick them on the shelf in there so they're tidy, they're out of the way, and then we make a pile of money because we can employ, we can get an employee for each one. Every single one that we've got, we can have an employee assigned to. They don't need to be set up anywhere. So we could do that, and we could get the employees working, and we could double the number of employees that we got, because we could put one on every single hog pan. 
Um, so I'd really like to try that soon. I'm actually thinking that I might try and do set that up before I try to get the bulldozer. So um, it does mean that our wages are going to increase. But it should also mean that then we're going to get a lot more gold coming in, which means that we then be able to accelerate the rate at which we can save up to get that bulldozer. And I'm also hoping then we'll have money in reserve so that by the time the... Uh, drill gets here and we can start using that one to test different parts of the claim we will have a pile of money in reserve and we can use it now i did say with the 300 ounces of gold that we added in we needed to pay that back somehow now we know that wherever it goes on the map we are it's going to be available at the bank to sell so we're going to have to be careful with that that we don't actually sell that particular slab of gold and a couple of people have said, rather than me selling the gold, uh, rather than me chucking the gold in the river, because I was originally thinking to take it over to the bridge up this end and chuck it in the river. Uh, but quite a few people have said that they don't want me to do that. What they'd rather me do is leave it in the tent at Old Arnold. Now, if you remember, one of the episodes I did actually um, role play going and getting some coffee really early on in the morning. Now, I, me personally, I, I don't function coffee well without. Um... Yeah, Frithgar, no function coffee well without. It, it just doesn't happen. So what I was, um, what the, the suggestion is, is that I go to, um, I, I put a slab down somewhere and I can just use it as a coffee mat. I just use it as a coaster for my coffee. Um, and I quite like that idea, so I might actually do that. Okay, so we have $320 to smelt this. We'll lose 2.8 ounces and melt the gold. That gives us a 28 point, is it 28? Yeah, 28.9 bar of gold. 28.9 ounce and I'm going to lob that one down there almost disappeared completely into the dirt and then I'm going to go over to the bank and I'm going to say look I got this bar of gold but you have to go and find it it's like a like a treasure hunt it'll be great fun you'll love it you can get you can let your kids do it because they love treasure hunts and we'll see what the bank manager says when we get over there so we've got 2600 gold we haven't it's not quite the same as the um the rush at midnight that we had all that time ago now um but yeah, we are actually cutting this pretty fine. I'm quite glad that we chose not to do another um, load with a dump truck. That could have been quite bad, actually. Okay, to the bank. Our loan at the moment, we've got $187,000 left to pay and 35 installments. That's, um, that's not great. And st stock is going up and up. I keep pouring gold into them and it's still climbing. So we have $35,600 from this bar of gold. Let me get that one. There we go. And come out of there. So that should actually, that's going to keep us going for another few, at least, well, several days now. Um, $38,000. Now, we are, we're in the process of making gold now. We're in the process of uh, processing it all. And we're going to be, um, we're going to, we got the mats that we're going to use. We're going to wash out those mats. And I think that we'll probably try and do that. I'm going to try and do it twice. I'd like to load those mats up and get them fully loaded and uh, washed out. So we've got a load of buckets there. And we can do that twice. And then we can line all those buckets up. And then we can have a good session on the magnetite separator and the wavetable. See what we can do with those. I think that is going to be really awesome. And we get a huge, great big slab of gold at the end of it. And that will end up paying for like the bulldozer and stuff. So that's going to be, I, I would say, maybe 10 loads we're going to do with that. Be something like that. And we might have time just to get one more load in. See, I don't think we will, actually. It's getting dark. I don't like to work at night. I don't want to work overnight. So that's one thing that I'm not going to be doing is working through the night. And I think we'll, we'll hold off getting any more employees until we've done this double wash through. And once we've done the double wash through, then we'll get a load more employees with the hog pans and we can see about getting the bulldozer and all those sorts of things. Um, unfortunately, because of the way the game mechanics work at the moment, there's no way to early repay your loan or repay a chunk of it and thus uh, you restructure your loan. You'd think that there'd be a way to like restructure. You know when you like you take out another loan to cover that and maybe some more debts or consolidate again or because you know you've been a good boy and you've made all your payments they actually let you redo the loan but at a lower rate of interest i have actually been able to do that myself on one occasion um usually though it's the other way around i just struggle to pay it until it's all paid off the same as everybody else is what we all do it is we, we all start off with the best of intentions and then we end up just never actually yeah we, we all struggle right we turn that one off and right it's it's half past six. You know, I suppose we could go up there. Let's just see how well this is going. 
Starting, it is, yeah, it's getting a bit low. I went 30%, goodness me. Um, another four loads, and we'll be just about full uh, filled on that one. Now, it is starting to get dark, so by the time we get another trailer load, that is going to be too full. So I'm going to go dawn now, and I'm going to, now that it's brightened up again, we we'll leap in here, and we're off. So we're going to leave that running in the hope that it's not going to use up too much fuel. We come back through. If I turn these lights on, I love the lights on this thing. The lights on this are so much better than the excavator. If we could have lights like this on the excavator, I would be a very happy chappy. Because you'd be able to actually see that there's something that you... I mean, that's that's the whole point of with the excavator. The thing's lit up like a Christmas tree. It lights all the way around it. And, you know, unless it's really old, and like this one, in which case, yeah, you, you've hardly got anything. You just as well have someone stand there with a torch and shine a torch on what you're doing, because it's going to give you just as much light as the light that most of the old, old excavators have got on them. And, right, let's come over that way. At least we do have a bit of a hole in the ground there, and we do know that it's uh, reasonably profitable at the moment to dig in this bit back here. So let's see if we can get one more load before we finish this episode and then we'll do the rest we'll do some more digging tomorrow i think tomorrow's episode we're going to be mostly about digging uh, we haven't done that for a while we haven't we haven't done an episode where we do pretty much all digging the right way through um for quite we haven't done that for quite a while so i think we'll do that tomorrow just for something to i mean let me get this right there we go um just to sort of make it a little bit more interesting for those of you who like digging and those of you who don't you'll know that tomorrow is going to be one of those days we'll put that in there i think we've got this uh sussed where we need to position this one as well it seems to work quite nicely and of course now the big question is is the bulk of the gold coming because if we're getting this like really good yield from the gold because we're at the back of the claim or is it because we're digging deep enough because you know the hole that we're digging is reasonably deep and that's what I'm curious about is is it the the depth that you dig to that affects it or is it the actual distance from the front of the claim because I've had conflicting reports on that one I've had people saying both things Pe some people have said that it's actually the distance from the front of the claim and others have been saying well no it's nothing to do with the distance from the claim it's just the depth so when you're right at the front of the claim obviously you can't dig down very deep so there's not going to be very much there um, whereas when you're at the back of the claim um, or anywhere in the middle of the claim is quite deep the sides of the claim over here are apparently quite steep so it goes it uh, drops down quite deep fairly early on and that's the bit that we're going to find out. I just dropped a bit on the floor there you can see he's lifting up the dumper let's grab another one and I'll take this over and we will tip it right into the um, elevator that's not a full bucket there yeah we'll take this over and we'll tip it right in and so that will be three done today. Well, three tipped out today. Two loaded up today and three tipped out. And yeah, I tipped, I tipped a load more of that on the floor. You know, it really would be more... It would be beneficial if I was to actually stick this stuff into the actual um, uh, dump truck there. That, that would probably be a little bit easier. And bring that one. There we go. That's better. No, I think I've tipped it out over the other side. Yeah, I, did. I, I tipped a little bit out over the other side. I'm, does anybody want me to spend a day sort of messing around with buckets and shovels? Because we did have that, we tried it out where we had just a shovel and we shoveled it into a bucket and we tried it with the magnetite separator and the wave table and we got, we didn't get very much in the way of gold from the wave table but we definitely ended up with a decent bit from the magnetite separator. We got quite a bit from that. So does anybody want me to try that? Does anybody want me to um, like spend a day and see how much we can get from a single day? Did you see that? I lowered the bucket down and it scooped it out of the dumper and put it back into the digger bucket. It's not doing it from there. It did just now. It definitely picked some out of the dumper and then put it into the excavator bucket and then I uh, tipped it back again. If that's like a thing, uh, maybe if I like do it down to the side or something, is that going to make it do it? We'll see. Hang on. Let me let me just tip this one out. Bring that one over there a little bit. Right. If I tip that out there, now I'm pretty sure it was when I was over to the side. It's just like that. Didn't I? Nope. Not like that. 
Uh, let me try lifting it up and putting it down there. I'm sure it did it. I'm absolutely certain that it did it. Right, let's just check how much we've got in there. And that's my timer going off to say that we're running out of time. Come on, let me in, let me in, let me in! There, right. And we are at 87%, so we want one more full bucket full and a little bit extra. Because the full bucket is, well, the full bucket is roughly 10%. I I don't think it matters. I'd, I'd rather take a completely full dump truck over rather than um, taking over a part one, even if it just means that we, like, try and scoop up a little part bucket full of this at the end just for the last one. And what's the chances I can't do that? When I don't want to, I can do it very, very easily. And then when I do want to, it's just not going to happen, is it? So we'll tip that in there like that. And... Now I want to try and get a full bucket, a, a part bucket. I think that's a part bucket that I've got there. Swing that round and in we go. Right, that, that'll be a full bucket. That's Well, it's a full dumper truck anyway. And if I put that one out and switch him off, there we go. I still don't know if batteries can actually go flat on these machines. I know that you've got fuel and everything to take care of. But whether batteries can go flat as well, I'm not sure. You do have hydraulic hoses to replace on the excavator. And there's also the hydraulic ho well, the hoses on the wash plant, which look to be the same model. But I don't know if they actually break yet. That's something that we've not yet encountered. I've not had any breakdowns at all, touch wood. Except for, well, I did break a rope, didn't I? I did manage to break that one rope. And... I mean, yeah, that was quite deliberate, and it did. It took a lot of effort to break it as well, didn't it? It took me a long time to break that, and I, in the end, I had to literally just swing the thing right round and smash it into the side of our um, in the shed over at Two Rivers, and not Two Rivers, Rivertown, Rivertown. That's that's the one it's called. It's called Rivertown. Let's get this right. So yeah, I that's what I had to do in order to get it to work. I had to swing it round wildly and smack it right into the side of the shed, which is probably not the best way to be moving forward with anything really. But uh, that's what we had to do. Right, we put that one there and we press R to lift that one up and tip in the next lot. And then as soon as we've emptied everything out, I like the way that it's got the percentage on there, so it sort of show, it does give you a demonstration of how much is in there. That is something that I quite like about this one. I'll bring that one over. I'm going to turn those lights off. And I'm going to stop that one about there, I think. Let him shut down. Right, so we we got two ounces of gold already, and we're down to $31,500. So we're, we're doing all right, I think, with the money. And by the time this goes through... Yeah, we're, we're getting a load here, but we know now that this stuff is not much cop. Um, oh, actually, we're getting a pile of tailings down here. Okay. Now, whether if we put those, that pile of tailings, whether if we put that through again, that's going to get us a load of money or something, I'm not quite sure. And we've also got tailings going into those buckets there. This bucket has nothing in it. So we know that one doesn't give you anything at all. But these tailings here, if we run that through the machine again later on, we'll have to see, uh, see what that gets us. We'll also try putting a bucket full in. I mean, in theory, it should be the same as what went through there because it is that, it's that that's coming out. We've got two of them here filled up, but again, I think that they'll be just the same as the last ones. So I don't think it's going to make any difference. I wonder, can I tip them out over here? I don't think, there is no way to tip them out. You can't, like, click and so you, you can't empty them out like that, which is a little bit unfortunate. I really wish it we could. I think that would be like a nice um, element of gameplay that they could add in. Anyway, that one is just about done. Take a look over here. If you enjoyed this episode... Please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. We are almost half full on those mats. So as soon as the that load is finished, I think that will be 50%. So it looks like six dumper trucks is going to be those mats almost 100%. And that is the last of it. There's no more coming through on the bucket up there. So we've got a few more bits that will run down through here, and then these mats will be full. So yeah, 48% looks like it's going to be the top for those. So three dumper trucks is actually going to be about right, and we're not going to like overload the mats with gold. We're not going to be wasting any gold. And then these buckets down here, they don't actually get very much, which is how it's supposed to be. I think they were bugged last time. They, they were like loading faster than the mats. Um, but yeah, 
So we'll we'll carry on with this tomorrow, and then hopefully we'll be able we'll be in a position where we can start washing those mosses out. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.